Hi everyone, I'm Shane Stevenson, and here we are again with another episode uh, for the month of February. And as you can tell by this manufacturing stamp here, we are looking at one of the master gyro compasses on board the USS Little Rock. We didn't actually have to travel far from our prior days of filming and video because this is the SPG equipment room again. Again, now we're standing on the first platform and we are looking at the aft Spiri manufactured master gyro compass. Now I will admit that she is in pretty rough shape. Neither of our gyro compasses, master gyro compasses, uh, look anywhere close to uh, being in working condition. All right, I would like to change that, but I don't know. So there you go there. You can see it's tilted. It doesn't really appear as though any equipment has been taken out, but that's the way she rolls. So, USS Little Rock has two master gyro compasses. We will head to the other one. That's more in the... Uh, that's a little more forward in the CIC or Combat Information Center. Uh, but these are the master gyro compasses, as I mentioned, which would then be repeated throughout the ship to all the other gyro compasses. So what is a gyro compass or what's a magnetic compass? All right, so for these systems here, the gyro compass uh, was a modification, a, a different modification from uh, just a magnetic compass. All right, magnetic compasses will locate magnetic north, where using a gyroscope inside here, the gyro compasses will find true north. All right, so that gives you a little different information of where you are on the globe. Uh, and when you used in conjunction with magnetic, you really have a uh, you really have a clear sense of where you are located on uh, the surface of the Earth. All right? These also don't have Kelvin's balls. Forgive the phrase, uh, but when you look at a binnacle that that uh, is housed is, that is housing a magnetic compass, they had the iron compensating uh, balls on either side to compensate for the magnetics of uh, the ferromagnetics of the ship itself, all right, where the gyro compass doesn't need to use that. This was tied into uh, the electrical systems here on board, and so therefore they could be an error if you lose power. All right, certainly then they can stop working and you'd have to rely exclusively on a magnetic uh, compass. Um, and also the thing with the master gyro or the gyro compasses are that if you made quick turns, especially going east or west, uh, there would be some deviation within the gyro compass until it was able to correct itself. So if you're changing speed real quick, if you're changing directions real quick, if you're if you're going on a north-south axis, but you make a quick uh, turn to starboard or to port, and now you're going uh, west or east, uh, that would throw off the gyro compass for, I don't, I don't know, uh, a matter of minutes, a matter of 30 seconds, but it would throw off the gyro compass a little bit until it realigned itself with true north. So what we're going to do is, again, this was the aft master compass that was then repeated throughout the ship. And now we're going to head to CIC and look at the more central uh, gyro, master gyro compass. So follow me. So now I'm standing uh, just forward of CIC again on the first platform. And with the uh, midship gyro compass. All right, and as you can see, I'm going to show you this. It is vertical as opposed to horizontal, but it does say gyro compass center line right there. Right, well, that might be too bright. So we are in the center line, just like the aft one I was just showing you. 
And here is this Master Compass. As you can see, they're both in various states of decay and decrepitude. All right, it would be great to get one of these working again. So these gyro compasses were placed here on the first platform because it was a little more stable against, uh, you know, the movement of the ship, right? So it wasn't so affected, uh, like if you were up top and you're in heavy seas or heavy winds, these, this placement here would remain a little more stable. So I'd love to get one of those working in working order. All right, this was a DC, this was uh, damage control central. We had some hydraulic oil over there. And then the stairs leading back up to the third deck. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, please subscribe if you're not currently a subscriber. Uh, again, 28 and 28. We've got a long way to go. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed.